What's going on guys? Alright, so this is going to be episode 1 for the Tacoma build. If you guys are just stopping by for the first time, this is a project that I just took on. I had an R6, I traded it for my for this truck, and now I'm doing a bunch of stuff to it, like lifting it, putting big tires, etc, etc. So this is going to be episode 1. Um, I didn't count the reveal as an episode, so this is gonna be episode one. On episode one, I'm gonna be covering the suspension lift that I did. I didn't actually record it because it was a pain in the ass to put on. So it was just gonna be a long video and I, I just wanted to focus on getting it done. So I put a, I ended up putting a three inch in the back, a 1.5 spacer in the front. Apparently the Tacoma that I got is a really unuseful one because it is a five lug, two wheel drive, usually all the lifts are for the six lug two wheel drive also but the main difference is the six lug the five lug doesn't actually have a strut it just has a coil spring and the six lug actually has a strut which you can put a spacer on the top like every other lift kit is this one it doesn't have a strut so the spring you have to compress it put the spacer on top and they only sell a up to a 1.5 inch spacer because the cup where the I'll show you everything in a second the cup where the spring sits on where it rests I believe it's like two inches so if you put anything more than three inches the, the spring is actually not gonna be where it's supposed to be it's just gonna be hanging I'll show you guys but yeah it was a pain and whew, I don't want to go through that again Next, it's not gonna be suspension wise but lift wise is gonna be the body lift which I already have it and I'm not gonna be recording it because I just want to focus on how to do it and I'll just be making an after video once it's done. But let me show you guys what I was talking about and show you guys how it looks. Alright, so as you can see there, that's the coil. Okay, it sits on the bottom and on the top. So, if you are watching this video because you want to do it, what you're going to have to do is, you're going to have to take the upper arm screw, which is a castle nut, and he has a a bar through it you're gonna have to take it off which is that one right there and then you're going to have to take the actual strut or the shock that is in the middle two bolts right there and then you're gonna have to take the upper one which you can see it right there and then the shock will fall then the spacer is actually up here So this is the cup that I was talking about. See how it sits like this? And then the, the coil just rests in there. The spacer is actually in here. So it's the cup, the spacer, and then the spring, which is rest. Uh, can't see it in there, but. Okay, that's, that's the spacer right there. Then when you come to the back, the back was actually easier. For the back, I put two shocks. You see it right there, the wide one. And then this one right here, we red red boots. That wasn't a problem at all. And then that's the lift in the back. Three inches, block, see it right there. So what you do is you lift the truck up. You're gonna have these U-bolts, the stock ones, you're gonna take them off. And then you're gonna keep that plate. You're gonna lift the spring. You're gonna put the lift here and you're gonna lift the spring up. You're gonna put the spacer and the plate and then put the new u-bolts on and screw it all back together again so that's how it's supposed to look once you're done it was not fun at all the back was actually not bad the front was poof. a problem that i actually encountered well it wasn't a problem i just made a mistake i put the block on top of the leaf spring and that's not how it's supposed to be all right so as you saw that's how you put a lift kit on and the spacer in the front it was a real it was a real pain like I mentioned before so that's why I didn't record the entire thing um, if you guys have any questions I know that I wasn't really helpful but I just wanted to keep you guys updated with what's going on with the truck so I'll put a before and an after picture um, like I said it only lifted three inches in the back one and a half inches in the front so it's not gonna be really noticeable until I put the body lift on but anyways guys like always ride safe and I'll see you guys on the next one